Hello everyone, it's Prue here from Southern Satin. I'm back today to make another high temperature hot process soap. Um, it's a few days after Christmas and I'm just replenishing all my regular soaps for the new year. Because last year I made so many soaps testing out different fragrances, so I have lots of soaps that I really don't intend on keeping on my line. But right now, for the next few days, that's what I'm concentrating on, my regular soaps. Now this one today is going to be one of my bear bars. I call it coconut. I think I filmed this once before a long time ago. Um, in any event, it's like 25% cocoa butter and a lot of coconut milk, a lot of coconut oil. And the lye solution here is coconut water and lye. So that's why I call it coconut. Lots of cocoa butter, lots of coconut stuff. So inside my oils here, I also have aloe vera gel. So I'm going to just blend that up really quickly. And now I'm going to add the lye. And they're both about 190 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to blend this for about a minute or two, and then I'm going to put the lid on and let it do its thing. Let me pause you. Okay, so that was about a minute of, I mean, about two minutes of stick blending. It's at a medium trace. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. See what happens. No more stick blending. Maybe, unless it decides to separate. You never know. Even with this method, sometimes it separates. And you have to stick blend a little bit more. So, let me pause you again. I don't want you to sit here. I'll bring you back once it starts to rise. Alright, so it's been five minutes and no movement yet. So, I'm going to give it another five minutes and then I'm going to stir it up if it still hasn't volcanoed. Okay, it's been a full ten minutes and now it's, as you can see, it's volcanoing. I've been standing here the whole time. You know you can't leave these things unattended. Whenever I used to hot process, oven process, I would always end up with a mess in my oven because this would always happen. But, you know, when it's in the oven and you're not looking right at it, you don't know what's going on. So that's why this is a much better process for me. So I'm going to let it do its thing and stir it down in a minute. <clears throat> Once I stir it down, I'll let it sit for another five minutes before I put the um, super fats in. My super fats are more cocoa butter, uh, a little bit of virgin coconut oil, because I like the smell of the cocoa butter with the virgin coconut oil, um, and a little pumpkin seed oil because that's just wonderful for your skin. Okay, let me stir this down now. It's 
mostly done. Still some pieces at the bottom. As you can see, that is still opaque, but most of it is gelled. This is hot as hell. I should have on sleeves in case I splash or something. Bad prudence. I should know better. This is what's going to splash on me. Ooh, let me back up. Okay. Try to get some of these sides down. Actually, I shouldn't have did that. The sides are crusty. I usually just keep the crusty sides for myself and the family to use. Okay, I'm going to pause you for another five minutes. Okay, well, it's been another five minutes and there's no more movement. I'm not going to bother waiting another five um, because it looks like it's completely gelled. It also looks like it's separated a little. So what I'm going to do is add in my super fats and then let that soak in for about five minutes and I'm going to just mold it. No need to wait any longer. Stir this up really well. It smells so good. No added fragrances or anything, just the natural smell of the cocoa butter and the coconut milk and the coconut virgin coconut oil. It smells really good together. And I used to make this cold process and the scent didn't really retain, but in the hot process it does. Let this soak in for five minutes, pause you, and bring you back to mold. Alright, so it's been another five minutes, and that's it. I want it to get crusty. Hot process soap gets crusty really fast. So let's just mold this and be done. On to the next one. I'm going to try to make two more tonight. Do that too hard. Last time I did that, the whole camera fell. And put some of this in samples. I mean, let me say, let me not say you can't, because some people do, but I can't. It depends on how fluid your hot process soap is. Wait, I gotta turn this around. I can do this. This is not working. Give it up, Pearl. That's good enough. Well, I'm gonna put the remainder in little sample size molds and I'll bring you back for the cutting tomorrow. There it is, my coconut soap. Thank you for watching. Catch me on the cut. 
Okay, you guys, I'm back. It's the next day, and I'm going to cut my coconut soap. The other soap you see here is, once again, my lemonade. Yes, I had to make my lemonade soap again. I'm going to have to really start making that in bigger batches to be more productive. In any case, let's get this one cut. It's nice and hard. It's only been 24 hours. Whoa, it's popping right on and out. I'm not going to cut the whole thing because it's no design or anything. Hmm, I like how it smells. Very light coconut and cocoa butter scent. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Oh, and I'm having a sale right now, out with the old and in with the new, on my website, sudsandsatin.com. Every single bar of soap that I have left in stock is only $4. And also my perfume, roll-on perfume, oil perfume roll-on, whatever you call it, they are on sale for 6 bucks as well. So head on over to my site, check it out. Thanks for watching, and if I don't make another video, Happy New Year.